Hello, everybody. Welcome to episode 14 of the X Squadron podcast, where we discuss sci fi movies, TV shows, comics, video games. I'm Mr. Anicelli. I have with me my X Squadron. I got Matt Pegno. Hello. I got BSAP. Hello there. I got Pagano. Good evening. I have Matt Martino. Hello. And I got a very, very, very special <laughs> guest with us today. <laughs> Hi. Besides having Matt Miani, pretty special. You are pretty special. You want to get close to the mic if you're yeah, going to talk. Thanks. We have. I'm excited. What can I tell you? I'm really excited. We have with us today uh, a bona fide celebrity. We have Michael Barbieri. How you guys doing? Um, Michael Barbieri is uh, an actor. He's going to be in um, some movies called Spider-Man: Homecoming. You might have heard of that. Uh, pretty famous. The Dark yeah. Tower, uh, which is a Stephen King novel, right? Yes. Uh, he's been in Little Men, which we're going to talk about all these things. Uh, so we're very, very excited to have him in. Thank you for coming in, Mike. Anytime. Really appreciate it. We got him for the next uh, hour or so. Uh, you can follow us on YouTube, Instagram, Twitter at XSquadPod. Uh, please email us any comments, uh, stump the sap questions, show topics, or anything else you want us to discuss at, at XSquadPod at gmail.com. You can find us on iTunes, SoundCloud, and now Google Play. We are now on Google Play. Per my recommendation. Yes, thank you very much. Uh, by searching X Squadron Podcast. Uh, thanks, Andrew Brooks, and to Will Shelton. Uh, Andrew gives us our uh, logos. Will Shelton gave us that song you just heard. Um, thank you to Corey Sheridan for doing our awesome YouTube yeah, channel. He's really good I don't man. know if anybody's heard the, seen the last YouTube channel, but uh, the video. But it's been pretty uh, pretty sweet. Uh, our main topic today, obviously, is going to be the interview with Mike, but we do have one email that we got to get through before we start, and that's from Mr. McCabe. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, Mr. McCabe is the dean of, dun, of faculty. Dun, dun. He used to be the dean of students. Um, very uh, important guy here at Xavier High School. He says, Dear X Squadron, uh, I would like to know if you have plans to discuss the upcoming Doctor Strange movie. I think it is really interesting that Marvel is committed to featuring lesser-known characters in the universe like Stephen Strange. They had success with Ant-Man and Deadpool on the big screen. Uh, some other Edge characters have been, edge. 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 <laughs> have been introduced through Netflix, like Daredevil and Luke Cage. I'm looking for your prediction. Will audiences find their experience with Doctor Strange to be otherworldly or mystifying? I wouldn't call them Edge characters. Uh-huh. Like, I don't think... Are they uh, not Have well you known? seen Luke Cage at all? I watched I first, the first 11 episodes pretty edgy. No, no, no. Not in the, way that, he, not in the way that he means. Like, oh, like he means, he means like lesser known characters. Yeah, yeah I wouldn't call characters. those guys lesser known. Luke Cage is awesome, though. Luke Cage is definitely lesser known. Uh, yeah, Jessica Jones. All right, but Jessica Dead- Jones is extremely not lesser Deadpool. known. I agree with that. Yeah, not Deadpool. He's like pretty, Deadpool. He's pretty but popular. I'm excited for Doctor Strange, honestly. I want to see, see it, and I think it's cool. I think Marvel is kind of forced to do Edge characters because they don't own the rights to Spider-Man. Fantastic Four or they don't, X-Men. Yet. They don't own X-Men. They don't own Fantastic Four. They have to do other characters and make them popular. Which I think they're doing a great job. Like Guardians of the Galaxy. Who cares? Who thought of the Guardians yeah, of the Galaxy? Who cares? That movie's awesome. Yeah. One of the best. One of the best. Mm-hmm. Um, we're going to get to the second part of that question towards the end because it's a Star Wars related question for you guys. Ooh. All good. right. But the last thing he said, which this is a great idea. Uh, could you play your podcast during Friday lunch periods in the student activities area on 5F? I think it would be a great way to showcase what you do, encourage other people to get involved, and market next week's episodes. I think that's an amazing people idea. People would actually that, listen. That's one of the best ideas. Or, or they would stay away yeah. from 5F on Fridays <laughs> during lunch. And I could work in there. But uh, either way. That's fantastic. That's awesome. It's um, a great idea. Cool. Another announcement is that my friend Joe. Hey, Joe. Hey, Mike. Uh, <laughs> he gave us about nine posters. Uh, to include in our giveaways. So they're really, really cool posters. If you guys just email us a question, um, somebody's going to win one today because we got a whole bunch of student questions for Mr. Barbieri here. So the best one's going to get a uh, uh, Suicide Squad poster. There's a really nice Ant Man poster. Really nice Ant Man. You got uh, Thanos. You got Captain America poster. You got a little Daredevil, Avengers poster. And all these things. And we got comics. We still got free comics. Okay, so let's get to it. Mike Barbieri. So, do you listen to the podcast at all? Uh, yes, I listened to uh, I listened to one episode. Which one? Uh, I believe it was eleven. All right, thank God it wasn't twelve. <laughs> 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 twelve was a disaster. <laughs> Which one was eleven? Do anybody remember what eleven was? Oh, that was the one before we took for break. Right. Well, so uh, was it? No, was it? Was no, it? no, 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 it wasn't. Squad. I shall check. That was Suicide, Suicide Squad. Yeah, Suicide oh, okay. Squad. Um, are you a podcast guy? Are you into podcasts? Yeah, uh, I've done. I mean, the interviews I've gone on pretty much sim like po- uh, podcasts. So yeah, I'm a podcast guy. Uh, how many interviews have you done? Uh, since Little Men came out last January, I've done a lot of interviews and podcasts because of Little Men's publicity. You know, Spider Man, Dark Tower. So I've done a lot of them. Any particular interview that you were very fond about? 
of uh, Good Day New York on Channel Five. Uh, that was hey, an that's amazing experience. Good. You know, being on national live television, it, that was just an amazing experience. You met, you got to meet uh, Kelly. No, uh, it's, it's Rosanna and Greg. Greg Kelly. Yeah, yeah. Last got to, Kelly. Uh, I got to meet Greg <laughs> Kelly. Uh, Thanks, up. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Rosanna <laughs> Scotto actually spoke here. at my uh, college graduation commencement. Did she now? She, she did. I like her. She's she friends did. with my mom. She's sweetheart. She, yeah. she seems like a real sweet lady. Yeah. Well, uh, I didn't get to meet her. She was there that day. I think she was somewhere else. But uh, I was. I did meet Greg Kelly, so that was an amazing. He treatment. seems really cool, cool too. Yeah, he was. Uh, he was a nice guy. Legendary. Okay. Hi. How you doing? Uh, <laughs> my question to you is. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. It's fine. Okay. Uh, where are you from? And uh, what school do you go to? Uh, I'm from downtown Manhattan. Uh, I was born in Tribeca, but then when I was about. Uh, fifth grade, I moved to Battery Park, and that's where I am now. Uh, and I'm from LaGuardia High School. And oh, very nice, talented, <laughs> obviously. Cle- clearly, yeah, yeah. So you said uh, you went to LaGuardia. Is that kind of how you got into acting? Oh, I got into acting because my brother, my brother was an actor, and when I was about six years old, I uh, saw his first play, and it looked like a lot of fun. So I said, "Listen, I want to try something like that." So. I did school plays, you know, I told my parents, uh, I did a couple off-Broadway plays, and then um, I got into this acting school called the Lee Strasberg Institute in Union Square. And because of them, got me Little Men, and then Little Men got me Dark Tower, and Dark Tower got me Spider-Man, and yeah, it took off from there. The only way is up. Awesome. <laughs> nice. Very and, interesting. Uh, as a teenager who has school and all that, what's it like to balance that along with being an actor? Uh, well, it's very difficult, but um, when I shot Little Men and I shot Spider-Man, I was during the summer, so it was very easy to balance that. But um, Dark Tower, I take a school uh, about three and a half weeks off in May. Um, I was in South Africa, so it was crazy, but it's, it's balanced. It's all about maintaining everything, you know. Um, it wasn't that hard, but at the end of the day, it just maintains the balance of school and acting. Are your teachers at LaGuardia cool about it? Like if you have to leave for a couple weeks? Uh, uh, right now I haven't done anything, so... Uh, or are they jealous? Hopefully they'll be okay with that. I think they'll be okay with it, though. You have to cool. go to South Africa in the desert? That's going to be hot. Uh, I went there last May. We have a teacher from South Africa. His name is Mr. Norris. <laughs> oh, my legend. We have legend. two from South Africa, Mr. Hunley and Mr. Norris. Mr. Hunley's from South Africa, Mr. too? Mr. Hunley is from South Africa. Okay. Um, oh, can you name some notable actor or actresses that you've met? Uh, I met a Elba. He was uh, a great person. Tom Holland, uh, Zendaya, Tony Revolori. They were all great people. Uh, Alfred Molina. Oh, so just yeah. that. Ooh. They were all mentors. They were all great people. Alfred Molina was uh, Dr. Octopus. Yes, in, he was. In my, I'm gonna, I don't want to spoil the, the other topic we might want to talk about, but he was in Spider-Man yes. with Tobey Maguire. Yes. He, in my opinion, he's one of the top five best villains that comic book movies have had. Uh, really? Uh, in my opinion. That's yeah, just yeah. strictly my opinion. That could be, I agree. That's another debate. I that concur. is another oh, Absolutely, it's another debate. a great episode. Yeah, yeah. yeah that is. Um, he, he played that part great. How was he to work with? Uh, he was a great guy. Um, I got to shoot a couple scenes with him. He was just he was such a nice guy, really laid back. When we weren't shooting, we were just talking and hanging out. Uh, he was just a great guy all around, very, very helpful. He always told me if you have any questions or anything, just come ask me. He was a really great guy. Um... What was your first? Ex- what was the first thing you acted in? Uh, well, I did a couple of uh, school plays and off Broadway plays. Like what? What's some? What are some school plays? Uh, school plays. Where I, I did uh, Joseph and the Technicolor Dreamcoat. Um, I did. Uh, well, it was a while ago. Uh, I did. Uh, how do I remember? It was a while ago. I did some off Broadway plays called uh, Room of My Own um, Fairies, which is about like uh, a kid growing up, and then you know, on Christmas Eve, uh, every. One comes on the same day, Santa Claus, the, the Easter Bunny, the Tooth Fairy, <laughs> they all come on the same day. It's amazing. And uh, <laughs> um, and then, you know, Little Men really was my big break. Little Men was my first film, my first feature film, and it was a very real big break. So why don't you, why don't you tell us about Little Men? Tell uh, us a little bit about it. Little Men I shot two summers ago uh, in Brooklyn and Manhattan. It was directed by Iris Sachs. Uh, Greg Kinnear was in it. Uh, Paulina Garcia, Alpha Molina. Um, it was... They were, it was just great. My first feature film, so I was a little nerve wracking. You know, first first time being on a feature, you know, first day set. But uh, my director was an amazing director. I, I was actually was like a mentor to me. My uh, castmate Theo Taplitz, who played my best friend in the film, was a great kid. Off, so we were best friends off camera, which made it seem so realistic on camera. 
What's the story about? Well, uh, Theo moves to my neighborhood in uh, Brooklyn, and my mother owns a storefront, and the lease is gone, and Theo's parents are in control of the lease, and they want to, like, triple the money, and Pauline doesn't want it. So they start arguing, which means that we can't hang out, so we give them the silent treatment, mm. which then later turns into us just getting in trouble and arguing with our parents. So it's a really, really great story. I did an amazing job with it. What theaters is it currently playing? Uh, it's Lincoln Center and uh, IFC on West 4th Street. Nice. Sounds awesome. very deep. Get out oh, there yeah. and see it. Definitely. Support yeah. Mr. Barbieri. Okay, my question off the list we have here. I think we all want to know, have you met Robert Downey Jr.? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've not yet met Robert Downey Jr. I would love to, but uh, he, uh, he when he was shooting, I was done. So uh, it was, though, I would, I would love to, but sadly I did not. He sounds like the coolest guy ever. Oh, yeah. You sound like the most New York kid I've ever heard in my, in my <laughs> life. I love Which it. Which is a very good thing. I love it. It's, it's great. Um, one thing I just want to know about... Um, <laughs> hey, okay. <laughs> Way, to go off, Way to go off script, Matt. You know what? Okay. Um, so how do you feel about uh, Homecoming? I know like it's not something that you can talk about too much, probably. But like just kind of how... For one thing, how is everybody working on set? Like in your experience, like the actors working with each other, the chemistry mm -hmm. there, how, how did you feel about that? Uh, well, you know, first day on set of a crazy feature film like Spider-Man Homecoming was a little nerve-wracking, a little intimidating, but once the first day on set, you know, every, we all had great chemistry together, we were all close castmates, um, we all really had each other's backs, um, and it was all really good, and then, like, we just all had each other's back, and uh, it was, we had a good chemistry, every scene we did, even the scenes that took a lot of time, we always got the best take out of it, and uh, I think we really did a good job on it. And my props go out to my castmates of that film. So before before you start filming, what do you use to get into your character to like, um, transform from your normal self into your the role you play? I assume you don't go Jared Leto and <laughs> lock yourself in a room and He's send your, yeah send your people weird gifts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll do crazy things like that, but um. I just relate myself to the character, you know, if I see a similar interest, I, f I find myself, um, I just really, I just love read the script, you know, I find similar interest, whether it be a tiny interest or whether it be a huge interest, it's just, you gotta find similar interest, and that's what I really feel is the best way to become a character. Is there anything you can tell us about the character you're playing in Spider-Man? Sadly, I cannot. Sadly, I cannot, okay. Uh, there have been rumors around that uh, I've heard uh, about, uh, something about Harry Osborn, but who knows? We gotta wait to see the movie. Um, I'd rather not. Actually, I'd rather them not tell us anything. I, well, I don't know if you in. know. I don't watch trailers anymore. <laughs> like I refuse. I only watch the trailer before the movie at the theater. I agree. You know what I mean? That's, I, I won't watch anything on the internet. I stay away from all that stuff. There are set photos that came out. I haven't seen them. I don't yeah, want to see them. So I've been single one. A lot of set photos. <laughs> um, how is it being in such a big movie? It's an amazing experience. You know, growing up, Spider-Man was probably my favorite superhero. Um, so. To be questions. able, <laughs> so to be able to be in a uh, film about that was just an amazing experience. You know, it's like a childhood dream. Uh, it was just I still can't believe it really happened to me. You know, it's just at this young age to be in a uh, feature film called Spider Man was just an amazing experience. Now, Marvel is making this movie, right? Correct. Sony owns the rights to Spider Man. So the last four, five movies that we got for Spider Man, three with Tobey Maguire. Two with Andrew Garfield. With Garfield. Um, which I liked all of them. I, I yeah, I, I, liked, I liked all of them. Um, I, who, who do you get paid from? Do you get paid from Marvel? Do you get paid from Disney? Do you get paid from um, Sony? Sony? Are you allowed to say that? No, I'm not asking who, how, how much he gets paid. I just want to know like, who, who's, who's in control the, of the yeah. movie. Uh, well, I think, who's well, producing the movie? Well, Marvel, of course. Um, but then I believe that Sony, I believe Sony hasn't sold the complete rights I believe that they've sold the complete rights back to Marvel. Mm. Um, so, like, it's, I think it's 50-50 right now because, uh, as you agree, Marvel already had, and they sold it back to Sony, mm. and I think Sony sold half their rights back to Marvel. So oh. I think right now it's 50-50. Are there going to be future Spider-Man movies? Uh, can't say. Okay. <laughs> um, on the topic of production, uh, did you ever meet on the set, I don't know if you would have, but Eric Carroll? Eric Carroll. I might. I'm not sure. He's. He, I think he's more of a stunt person. Okay. But I, I think. I think I might have. That name sounds familiar. I, I don't. Yeah. I, I have to. I have to think about that. Cause 
he was college friends with my karate teacher. Oh. So, and he asked me that. <laughs> so what movies are you currently working on? Uh, I, right now, I, I'm finished with everything. I finished Dark Tower, I finished Little Men, and I finished uh, Spider-Man. Uh, right now, just waiting on a couple editions. Uh, you know, I've been going on editions a lot lately, so just waiting on some answers. And then there'll be reshoots, right? Probably. Yeah, probably. When do uh, when are they slotted to come out? Uh, Dark Tower is slotted to come out in February, um, and Spider Man July. Okay. Awesome. Uh, so July. I can't wait. July seems so far away. Um. You have no idea how jealous of you on so many levels I am. <laughs> it's, first of all, you're 14. I, w- I wish I was 14 again. Um, second of all, you're a movie. You're an actor, which I would love to be an actor. You know Spider Man, who I wanted to know my entire life. He's my my absolute favorite superhero. Funny story. I'm friends with your mom on Facebook. <laughs> and you were yeah, okay. just, uh, that's embarrassing. <laughs> what? We're coworkers. Well, no, dude, just don't. You know Sap, what? Why do you ruin you? everything? Why do you I make everything weird. Please make fun of everything. Get the gong. Get the gong. No, let let Mike. Let, let Mike anyway, let Mike hit the gong. Your mom was posting pictures of you on some red carpet event. Mm-hmm. So you met a whole bunch of really famous people. Yeah. One of them was the girl who plays Sansa Stark. On Sophie Turner. Sophie Turner. Sophie Turner, yeah. Okay. She's cool. I don't know actors and actresses' names. That's Pegno's deal. That is That's me and Dino's that is deal. Yeah. Thing, he knows yeah. everybody. Um, so I see the picture, and I'm like, oh, my God, Sansa Stark? And your mom goes, no, that's Sophie Turner. And I was like, oh, she's so cute. <laughs> I, just, I love her. She's the best. Your mom's awesome. <laughs> Who, what are some other notable um, actors that you met? Uh, at that event, that was the variety. Or, or ever. Yeah, okay. Um, at that event, that was the variety top 25 actors under 25. Uh, I got to meet, you know, uh, Sophie Turner, Ariel Winter, who's a modern family. Uh, I was funny. I was talking to Olivia Holt from Disney, Madison Pettis, who I don't know if you guys have seen, was in the game plan. I was talking to her. <laughs> well, Peace you okay? I love that movie. What, what movie? The game plan. With the, Dwayne The Rock Johnson? This, <laughs> oh, God, a Dwayne The Rock Johnson. The movie. man could make a movie, and he can make a good one. <laughs> <laughs> that is one of the greatest <laughs> movies. That and Paul Blart. Br- break oh. it, breaking news. Yeah. Sap just... Commended a movie that wasn't a Star Wars yeah. film. Yeah, yeah. Wow. It definitely, it wasn't science fiction either. So. It wasn't even science Predator, fiction. By the way? No, no I didn't. have. You watch oh, yes. Predator. Oh, oh, just like everyone in this would room you like it, Would you like his spot on the podcast? We'll, we'll play Stump the Barbieri <laughs> instead of Stump the Sap. We have a, a segment called Stump the Sap, no. yeah. which he hasn't seen anything other than Star Wars. <laughs> That's not so necessarily true. true. No, true. <laughs> He's on a science fiction Basically. podcast, hasn't watched anything but Star Wars. So yeah. we, we give him homework <laughs> to go watch a science fiction movie, and then we test him on it the next right. day. But he didn't do his homework. Well, well of course he didn't. Sorry. <laughs> of course he didn't. <laughs> <laughs> yes. The roast begins. I'm <laughs> uh, uh, okay. so glad this is recorded. Oh, that, well, that's what a podcast is. All right. <laughs> um, well, let's see. What do I want to ask here? I had a question, we, but okay. Yeah, go, go ahead. So um, what else are you into besides Spider-Man, like in terms of science fiction? Oh, you know, Star Wars, I'm a huge fan of. There we go. Yes. Uh, the, the who one. isn't? <laughs> that's true. Have you, have you ever met someone that said, I don't like Star Wars? Yes. 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 Who? Uh, I can't say names currently. Kevin, Kur- names. Kevin Kuranowski. Kevin Kuranowski. <laughs> that's the main guy. <laughs> <laughs> you name names. He's not going to listen to this. No. My uncle doesn't like Star Wars. Really? Didn't he, your uncle re- listen to this podcast, no, 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 like, no, no, to that's Chicago? That's a different uncle. Oh. Okay, that uncle tore to shreds. Uncles. And then my other uncle, oh, okay. Brooks's father, okay. refuses to watch Star Wars. Okay. So you're into Spider-Man and Star, Star Wars. Wars. Um, Predator, I've seen a couple times. Nice. Of course. Uh, I saw like I saw the the most recent Star Trek. Star Trek because uh, Edge of Star was in it. Uh, it was all right. I was. I'm not a really a big Star Trek guy, but um, I liked it. I enjoyed it a lot. I think Idris did a great role, but um, yeah, just mainly Star. Mainly Star Wars. Star Wars. You know, Star Spider-Man, Predator. I'm into movies, all movies. Nice. Okay. Awesome. Uh, Lord of the Rings? No. Besides that. <laughs> ah. Besides that. Ah. Have you seen Lord of the Rings? I've seen one of them, and I got very bored by it. Too long. It was not right. That's, fair. That's, fair. Yeah. That's fair. That's fair. Oh, boy. You know, I say it, you know nothing. Because well, you're Seth. Of He's course. Seen it. Yeah. I have seen you know, one. It's like, oh, I said that. <laughs> um, did you read any... Do you read comics? Yes. Okay, yes. So you read comics before you got into Spider-Man? Yes. You I've should do the comics. poll list. Okay. Um, I've been doing comics for a while. Oh, sweet. What do you like? What are you into as far as comics go? Uh, Marvel comics. I, 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 Marvel comics, really. Just I've been reading all Marvel comics. Uh, my brother, John, he was into Walking Dead comics, so, and there was one just lying on the bed, and I was like, yeah, I'll read it. It was all right. Um, <laughs> TV show's better. Yeah, yeah, TV show's better. Um, I think they go pretty parallel, though. 
from what I hear. There, there are some major oh, there, differences. There are some big differences. Oh, oh, uh, wait there a moment. Some big differences. Right? Yes. Mr. I, wasn't your homework supposed to be to watch The Walking Dead? You know, it might have been. I don't think it was homework. I think it was just it was a, a suggestion. It was, it was a suggestion. suggestion. I it believe it was homework. He doesn't get homework. Yeah, I don't get homework. You just give it. What are the TV shows you're watching? Uh, you know, Walking Dead. I'm waiting for the, the new season to come yes. out. I really want to find Thank out who, you. who got killed. Um... You know, just uh, I watch Chicago Fire. You know, a lot of cop shows. No, Hawaii you... Five O. Boom. Blue Bloods. Boom. You watch Hawaii. Chicago Fire? Yes. yes. Hawaii Finally. Five O. Kevin can wait. <laughs> Kevin can oh, wait. No. Um, well, so I watch Chicago PD, SVU. Oh, my um, wait a minute. Like do you watch movie. um? What's the name of the, a designated survivor? Yes, yes, I do watch designated oh, survivor. We keep all the this, this, this is amazing. great. Wow, this you is like the cop shows, huh? Oh, Mr. Wright, please. Talk about the uh, shows, the cop shows that you love so much. I don't like cop shows. I think they're all the same. No. Cops. <laughs> which is, which like is not true. It is true. By, by, the, by the half hour mark, you know who the... But sometimes by the three minute mark, you know who the bad guy is. You're beat. You ever watch uh, Blacklist? Bet. <laughs> bet. You just bet. Uh, he yeah, just what? dabbed him. I did not. not That's ridiculous. <laughs> Have you ever watched uh, The Blacklist? Uh, yeah, I watched a couple episodes. I was alright with it, but, uh... <laughs> Uh, I'm thrilled I was the that same you're with the Chicago Black Fire. <laughs> I'm thrilled. The real designated survivor. Talk to us more about the Dark Tower, because not a lot of people know what that is. Yeah. I have no idea. It is a book by uh, Stephen King. Um, it's what it really is about. It's about these this kid who this person named the Black Man, the Man in Black, uh, is taking kids in their dreams, and he brings them to this portal, like another dimension. Oh, it's so Stephen King. And there's a tower that connects all the dimensions together, so like Earth and like all the other dimensions, and if that tower is destroyed, the world's gonna end. So he goes to people into their dreams, kidnaps them, gives them like a mind reading, and then it tells them to destroy the tower, and the tower takes a while to destroy. But then there's one kid whose name is Jake, he doesn't get hypnotized, so he is able to and so he's like trying to stop him, but everyone thinks he's crazy, including me, who I play his best friend, and I think he's psychotic. And um, you play the man in black's best friend? No, I play oh, he plays Jake's, the, Jake's best, best his friend. His best friend. Okay. And uh, man in black's Matthew McConaughey, so he's yeah. a much older guy. So if I was his best friend, that'd be a little weird. <laughs> um, <laughs> so uh, and then he takes Idris Elba, who's a gunslinger, who is trying to stop him also, and then they go on a crazy journey to stop uh, the man in black. Because it's like an eight book series, right? Yes, it's like nine books, eight books. Have you Are read it? I've read the first one and the second one. Are they doing them all in one or are they just doing the first book? Well, right now they're doing the first book, depending on how this mo- this movie does with the releases and the box office records, uh, they'll probably do a second one. They could Harry Potter it. Is this a Ron Howard movie? Yes, this is a Ron Howard. It's He's be, producing it. It's going to be huge. Because Ron, huge. 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 Ron Howard, huge. everything the man touches is great. Everything, yeah. He's uh, he's amazing. Did you watch the Formula One movie he did? I uh, can't remember the name of it, but Thor was in it. The guy who plays Thor Chris was in it. Yeah, Chris oh, Hemsworth was in it. Oh, I know what you're it. talking about. It wasn't in the theaters very long. It was about, um, it was a, uh, like a document, it wasn't a documentary, but it was a movie based on a true story between two Formula One racers in the 70s. Oh, Rush. Rush. This That's movie why was, I'm here. The movie was amazing. You watched it? It was amazing. Awesome. It, was it was actually really amazing. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I read the, f- I, I actually listened on audio tape to like the first four books. <laughs> and it's intense. It's yes, like, it is very intense. And the way the book sounds, it's kind of like this, post-apocalyptic steampunk kind of western yeah it it, so it but people think it is uh it sounds like a western when you hear a thing of a gunslingers and they traveling around the set some some parts of the set that looked like it was uh in a, in a scene from a midwestern movie just because of where we shot but uh it's very very farthest thing from a midwestern movie yeah because like the gunslingers are like knights right the gunslinger i wouldn't say knight more like more like a good assassin, I would say almost. Okay. Because he's not, he's not, he doesn't assassinate for money or anything. He assassinates that basically, like he's trying to save the world. Vigilante. Because are, are there other gunslingers? So I, I think I remember in the book there were like there was like a group of. There were a group, but I believe in this one they just focused okay. on one that's main cool. gunslinger, and that's who Edge's elbow is playing. Sweet. Nice. Um, I can't wait to see that. I know Mr. Lavigny is really into. He wanted to ask you questions about Dark Tower. I told him to come in. Um, hopefully he gets in here um, in the next fifteen to twenty minutes or so. Uh, that's how long we got with you. Um, what's a typical day on set like? Pick pick one of the movies. What's a typical day on set for Spider Man? So, uh, Spider Man. So call time was early for that. Call time is about seven thirty in the morning. Um, and you know, first thing is go straight to the trailer. You know, sometimes you get breakfast. Sometimes I don't. Uh, is it good food? Good, food, very good food. Very good food. Very good food. You know, then you get changed. Go right to set. You set it up, rehearse a little, get your marks, get your lines going, talk with everyone, get the chemistry flowing. Um, then you go back, wait for it to be set and call, wait for them to set everything up. 
Um, then when you get pulled, you shoot everything. Shoot one angle, shoot another angle, get lunch, digest, <laughs> hang out with your friends, go back and set, shoot the other two angles. Um, yeah, it was crazy, though. It was, uh, it, it, those were normal days, just like waking up, shooting, getting, getting the chemistry going, getting relaxed, getting everything going, uh, shooting, you know, then take a break for lunch, hang out with the castmates, and then go right back. What about Dark Tower? Same same kind of same deal? Same thing for Dark Tower, you know, just shoot, you know, getting your marks, shooting, rehearsal, get the chemistry flowing, same thing. What's get your marks? Get your marks is when you, because say if you're doing a scene where you're walking around and I go from the left side of my bedroom to the right side of my bedroom and the camera is in the back wall. So there's a bedroom in this movie. <laughs> oh, we got him. <laughs> we got him. And you heard it here first, folks. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Um, if the camera's in the back wall, you don't want me to walk straight in front of the camera so my back is to the camera so it looks like a blank back screen you want me to go around the opposite way to see my whole face my whole body so they're marks so they put pieces of tape where you can't see on camera because it'd be too high or it blend in so say we have a black carpet they'll put like a little piece of black with a red mark on it so you can't see it hmm. and then when you walk you hit the mark and that means that the camera is on you and if you're off the mark Depending on how the camera angle is, you could be off camera, on camera. Mm. This is like ruining this is science right here. This is like just breaking oh, this, all the movies. I know it's awesome. I know it's all true. This but is like, interesting. It is this interesting, is but it's like all my movies are <laughs> just people walking on tape. <laughs> no, or, not. or or CGI. They're way more than that. <laughs> yeah, the Phantom the... Menace. Um, would you strictly be open to like doing movies, or would you do like, TV shows if given the opportunity? Um, well, if you gave me another a chance to do a movie or a TV show. First thing is, what is it about? What is the movie about? What's the TV show about? Um, when are they shooting? It would be it has a big factor on when I would want to do what I would want to do. Um, I would do both though. Like if I had a chance to do both, of course I would do both. So I don't want to do strictly movies. I don't want to do strictly TV shows. I want to do whatever I get. Okay, cool. cool. Are you uh, familiar? Oops, sorry, Dima. Uh, are you fa- are you familiar with Daredevil? You know the Netflix yes, series yes, and yes. Jessica Jones now Luke Cage. Yes. Would you be interested in doing a TV show like that where you play in like a superhero universe, but it's a TV show instead of a movie? Yeah, I would usually do that. Um, you know, I would love to be a superhero. Uh, and this is one of my favorite superheroes. I would love to be be Batman, Spider Man again. New the newest one if they didn't make another one. Um, uh, you know, just uh, people always wanted me to be Hulk because they said I do have an anger temp, a temporary <laughs> anger. <laughs> so, uh, but uh, I would love to be Batman. Batman would probably be the we number could one. Be, could, we could be sitting next to a future uh, Batman. You never right? know. You never yeah. know. <laughs> the new Batman movie did get a title, by the way. It's called The Batman. It's called The Batman. The Batman. The Batman. I wanted, I wanted it to be the called Batman. like the Crape, the <laughs> Cape Crusader. Thank you. That'd be cool. You did that? Yeah. Do your uh, do your other impression for him. Sophia Vergara. Uh, yeah, do uh, Sophia. Oh, Vergara. you want some Pepsi? <laughs> Ha ha ha! Kind of going back to the set thing. You have any like funny stories from set? Uh, on Spider Man? Uh, Spider Man or just anything. anything in general? Uh, All of the above. On uh, on Spider Man, we did um for one thing is uh, one of the APs on the set. Um, he associate w- producer Mr. I. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I saw a, I saw a look of curiosity. Tell the story. Go on, please. <laughs> Um, he was, he's very known for rapping, so he, you can name him three words that have no similarity to sound or whatever, and he would be able to make a rap out of it. <laughs> so we gave him the craziest words. We gave him, like, guacamole, koala bear, and, like, like Spongebob, and he would make them all rhyme. And I would, <laughs> That's he awesome. would, he would be mind blown. Uh, and one thing on Little Men is, uh, Greg Kinnear, he didn't know that if you put a, a, a it's called a mento and a Diet Pepsi. Oh, no. He didn't know that? He didn't know that. So what? me and my friend Theo, we did it. Uh, we, said, we said if you do it, it makes like it makes the, the soda change colors. Oh, boy. So, <laughs> um, oh, no. <laughs> so we opened it. He was like, all right. He was like, something's up. Because we were like, we had eyeballing each other. And he was like, something's up. So he pops it, and it goes all over him. And we were just dying. But uh, <laughs> that amazing. was funny. Was that, he cool? He was hilarious. He was joking. And then uh, awesome. when we were doing, when we were doing uh, Sundance, when we had Sundance for eight, me and Theo's were walking, and all of a sudden we see a snowball flying in our faces, and we get hit, and Greg turns around and like, starts like, running. So we got like snowballs, and we started pelting him with them. Uh, Greg Kinnear was a great guy, but um, yes, those were some funny moments on set. Cool. Okay, this is a question from Mrs. Pegno, my mom. Oh, wow. She, said, she mom. wanted to ask you, if you could work with one person in Hollywood, Ooh. actor, director, anything, who would it be? You've gotten to work with someone. Could, could I name a director and an actor? Sure. Sure. Morris Scorsese, Robert De Niro. Ooh, Robert <laughs> De Niro. That was quick. That was like, in a cop movie. <laughs> <laughs> in a cop movie. In a cop movie. 
Awesome. Well, uh, what are your, some of your favorite De Niro things? All of them. All of them. Um, Goodfellas, Godfather. Oh, yes. Um, Meet the parents. Meet the parents. <laughs> was Serpico? Uh, Taxi Driver, Raging Bull. Taxi Bowl. Driver. That was Al Pacino. That was Al Pacino, right? Okay. Raging Bull. Higher. Everything. Everything, right? Everything. Bad Grandpa. <laughs> Bad Grandpa. Uh, let's see. Are there any roles that you went out for that you really wanted and you didn't get? Yeah, I've gone into some roles I really wanted I didn't get. But um, I realize it's just part of the business. You know, part of the business, you're going you're gonna to swing and strike out more than you swing and get a base hit. So, um, life advice. That's sap. That was good. Sap. <laughs> oh, come on. Yeah. I'm fine. He doesn't get many base hits. <laughs> no. Uh, speaking of base hits, how many, uh, who do you root for? Yankees, but Yankees. sadly, they're done. Yeah. What um, about hockey teams? Anders. Oh. <gasps> <laughs> 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 My boy. Right yes. here. Let's go. That's a disappointment. Finally. Oh, yeah. really? You're a disappointment. <laughs> 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 I'm just joking. Oh, you're not the gun on. <laughs> no, you're good, kid. Um, I got awesome. some. I'm going to go to the, the board, the, the student the speed round. So I asked a couple yeah, of my classes uh, what uh, they would like to ask you. So I'm going to give I'm going to hand a couple of these to everybody. Oh, boy. There you go. Oh, that, that we can all ask. Hand them around. Sap, Sap, can you read it? Do you need help? <laughs> no, no, I'm fine. Thanks. Will Ruge says, if you could have any other role in a superhero Rugai. movie. Oh, mm-hmm. you already answered this one, Ruge. It would be Batman. Batman. You answered that one already. All right. Run. Thanks, Will. Uh, your friend, Stephen Hoey. Steve. <laughs> How do you know Stephen Hoey? <laughs> uh, Steve, I grew up with him. He went to my old school. I grew up with Stephen. Um, he wants to know, how does it feel knowing that you're going to be on a classic movie like Spider-Man? Uh, it's an amazing experience. You know, it just... It's unforgettable, something I will never forget my entire life. Because this is going to be like a movie that everyone has on Blu ray. Yeah, like, it's gonna be, every kid so it's, it's the, and the most adult. Spider yeah. Man movie coming up because of just how they've changed already. This is their third Spider Man. Everyone's, everyone's saying it's going to be the best, and Tom Holland was a great Spider Man. So I agree. He seems be. like one of the nicest guys. He was a great guy. He was a great Spider Man, great friend. Um, it's going to be a great Spider Man. I really know. It, it just came together so perfect. Did you see Civil War? Yes, yes I have. And did you like it? Oh, I loved it. I loved it. Oh, I mean, yeah. uh, the rumors that I hear that Chris Evans might die in Avengers, uh, it's just Chris Evans is the reason I love Captain America so much. And if, if Batman never reason. worked out, I would want to be Captain America. That's one thing I think that Marvel does really well is the casting. Yeah. Casting Absol- is absolutely. phenomenal. I mean, I think DC does a good job of casting too, but they don't give their guys enough uh, dialogue, yeah. strong enough dialogue. Yeah, a lot I mean, <laughs> ah, the roast ah. continues. You know, I mean, you look at Superman, Henry Cavill. I mean, do you get to look like more like Superman than that guy? And, I no, mean, but they don't let him smile. That's like, the problem. Yeah. Exactly. Because if he smiled, it'd be, it'd and, be good. And uh, Ben Affleck is built like Bruce Wayne. He is Batman. Yeah, he's yeah. he's cool. Yeah. He's right. good. I got one here from uh, Lorenzo Garcia. This is, an this is a very good question, actually. Yeah, this, I like this one. So he says, uh, "How much can an, how much can an actor contribute towards the direction and development of a film?" An actor, he just has to do his best. Me, particularly, whatever director asks me to do, I always do it. You know, do you have to do it right? You got to do it. You have to put 110 percent to your work. You need to do. You need your focus needs to be on it. And if your focus isn't on it, it's not gonna look great. But uh, but an actor contributes. You gotta contribute your best, no matter whether that best be. With the direct, if the director doesn't think it's your best, then it's your best. You gotta do whatever you the best to your ability is. Do you ever think that um, an actor can kind of put their own spin on a role? Yes. Like, absolutely. Yes, I believe that. Every, every every role is like that. Every role is not m- meant the same way for every actor. If uh, if you put Robbie Downey Jr. as playing Taxi Driver, it would be different than playing Robbie De Niro as playing Taxi Driver. All right, I have one from our very own Israel Pierre, who works with us. Uh, who is your favorite uh, Star Wars hero and villain? Dart Maul for my villain. Ooh. Ooh. Nice. Not and a bad choice. Hero. Oh, that's tough. Yeah, that's a tough one. It's a tough one. Besides Jar Jar Binks. Oh, of course. Besides uh, Ben Quadneros. <laughs> <laughs> I would say either Chewbacca hey, nice. or Qui Gon Jinn. Qui Gon. Not bad. Not bad. That's the Taken guy. Yeah. <laughs> he's the Taken. He's the guy from Taken. He's, the guy from Taken. <laughs> he's just the Taken. All right. Guy. The big, the big question. <laughs> Have you ever met Stan Lee? Sadly, no. Oh. He's the man. I'm going to meet him at Comic-Con. I paid to oh, meet him. You're, you're, you're paying oh, the $400. You, it's not $400. It's just a photo op. I don't know. It was like Comic-Con. Wait, you paid for 
How much? Like 50 bucks. Take a picture That's with That's not bad at all. No, it's me and, and Mike you know and Joe. You know how long that line hey, is Joe, hey, Mike. on Sunday? Yeah, it's gonna be well, no, you get like a fast pass. It's like They give you right. a time to You know to how long that line is. I don't care. So I'm going to go. What do you think it's going to be like to watch yourself... Like when you go see, if you go see Spider-Man he Homecoming the in premiere. the theater, yeah. If you go, what do you think it'll be like to watch yourself like on the big screen? Uh, it's just gonna be crazy. It's gonna be cool. Um, it's gonna be like wow. Uh, I'm gonna take them. Of course, all my friends want to see it with me. Um, but it's gonna be it's gonna be an amazing experience. Do, do you know where it's gonna be? Where the premiere is gonna be? Uh, I would say LA. Yeah. Easily. That's awesome. When you're in a movie, are there any aspects of it that you don't know about until you watch it for the first time? Or do you Ooh, that's a great question. It's an in-depth question. Really? Thanks, yeah. Demo. Very good. <laughs> uh, you know, it's just when uh, when I when I shot it, literally, like you never know what's gonna change. I mean, you never know what's gonna change in a film. You, there are scenes I remember on Little Men that we shot for three hours that were only on screen for thirty seconds. <laughs> like Jared <Wow>. Leto. <laughs> Jared Leto. <laughs> he says there was enough footage yeah, to shoot a Joker to, movie. To Joker and he movie. was in it for ten minutes. Oh darn. Hmm. Yeah, but uh. It's 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 literally just what the director feels and what they feel like the director when he cuts when they cut scenes, most of the time the directors know what they're doing and they do great. Um, the directors they they can cut the scenes and make it good. Iris Sykes did a great job cutting the scene together and made Little Men better. Um, I'm confident Nick Garcello is gonna do a great scene, great editing in of uh, Dark Tower. I'm confident John Watts is gonna do a great edit of Spider Man. Nice. Okay, uh, Michael. Ackerman asked, why didn't you go to Xavier? <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, why didn't I want to go to Xavier? Well, LaGuardia, I just wanted, I wanted to go to school mainly for acting, and LaGuardia really took that. Yeah, that makes, Xavier that makes was, sense. Xavier was close of... second. Xavier was, Xavier was right there. Right, we now have Keenan Commons. Oh. Yes, we do. For dramas. <laughs> uh, David Ortiz wants, oh, no, not Ortiz. David Ortiz. Uh, <laughs> o- yeah. Hey, Poppy? Osoy. He's David Osoy. Who is your favorite uh, Marvel character, uh, comics or movies? Favorite, okay. Ooh, my favorite, all right, I'm going to say my favorite villain and my favorite superhero. Nice, I like this. Well, my favorite, okay, people don't consider him a superhero, so I'm going to put him aside, Deadpool. Okay. Uh, okay. But my favorite superhero, like, one favorite superhero. Like a good guy. Good guy yeah. is Hulk. Nice. Ah. Hulk. Okay, yep. How do you feel about the current state of the comic books with the Hulk? <sighs> Bruce, Bruce is, do you know what's going on? Um... <laughs> He's, he's very upset about it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is he alright? No, he's fine. <laughs> no, but just leave him be. He'll be, a, he'll be fine. Uh, I mean... The floor is yours. It's just... I, I don't know. I mean, Hulk... It's just there's so much you could do with him, and I feel like that they, they, they did a great job with him in Avengers. Um, I, I think Mark Ruffo did a great job as a Hulk. I think Edward Norton did a great job as Hulk. I think they're both doing great Hulks, and... I'm just waiting to see another Hulk movie. Really, yeah. really I'm really well. Really I think the Hopefully. Thor movie is going to be. It's a Hulk, Hulk movie. Hulk will be in Thor. That I, uh, that I know. Because um, they don't own the rights to Hulk either. Okay, the deal with Hulk is that he's owned by Universal. Right. So they can't make a solo Hulk movie. Like they used to. Yeah, without it, them sharing the profits right. and. It's all a mess. It's they're, all a mess. So they're just yeah. shoving the Hulk into a Thor no, movie. No, so now it's a Hulk movie, but Thor is in it. I I believe what this what is going on based on the comics is that. Around the same time, I guess you could, I don't know if you guys remember if you saw Avengers 2, mm-hmm. at the end of it, Hulk is in the spaceship mm-hmm. just right. flying and he cancels out. That takes him to Planet Hulk. Right. Uh, and at the same time that Planet Hulk's happening, Thor, is, this movie would be happening. So this is where Hulk and Thor meet up and then they team up. Uh, awesome. What about, a team. About right? two months ago, Bruce Banner kicked the bucket in the comics. He got shot. He I got know. shot. With a bow and arrow. Yeah, spoiler alert. Lame. Yeah. yeah, well... If you read the new uh, Steve Rogers that came out last week, they kind of explained it, which was pretty good. But we'll get into that during the comic corner. Anybody else got one from one of the students? I think right now Lorenzo is winning the poster, but we'll see. What was his question yeah, again? Yeah. Uh, how, really how much can an actor give to like to the movie? It's, it's, it's a good one. I'm gonna uh-huh. look. Uh, right I there. got one from Michael Manta. I hope I'm saying that right. Uh, what was the process like making uh, Spider-Man? The process very, very long process. Um, was not really I? had to sign a bunch of every Monday I had to sign another slip saying I would not release anything to the public uh, wow Jeez. so um, I think we've been good right yeah we've yeah. been good nice. you've been good um, he doesn't have to kill us yet <laughs> um, yeah. they were very it was very strict, very nerve wracking thing um, I didn't know a lot of what I was going to be until I was on set they didn't tell me my role until about a couple weeks before 
before I got on the site. Wow. And, and I knew for about a month, and they wouldn't tell me until like about a week before. So that was, that was nerve-wracking. Uh, it was just crazy, you know, the things, that the, the sets that they build, the, the places we were, it was just, it was crazy. So um, when you audition, did you audition for a specific character I or a role? <laughs> what is I'm going to try that. Never was <laughs> I auditioned for another role in the movie um, that I did not get, and then they called me in the beginning of June and said, "Listen, we want to offer you a role that we don't want you to audition for. We like you to all. We like to offer you this role." Wow, that's awesome. So that was the fact that Spider-Man didn't want me to audition. They wanted to give me the role. Was that's amazing. Control. Now, was it something they saw from another movie, uh, or I don't know. I think it, 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 I, mean, I auditioned for the the role I originally auditioned for. I auditioned for January. They okay. came back to me in June. They offered me the other role. Oh wow! So. Between, they could have seen Little Men in a festival. I don't know. But um, I'm just happy that I got the role. I have a question. Okay, so I was looking at the Spider-Man Homecoming, uh, the, the, the crew yesterday. And there's, I think, six writers on this movie. There's a lot of writers. There's that on any Marvel movie. There's never one writer. Never one writer. But on this one especially, there's John Watts. who's a dire- he's, direct- he's a director. Writing, directing. And then there's the, the people who made the vacation movie. Right? It's them, Goldstein and yeah. uh, I forget their names. Correct. But there's like six cooks in this kitchen. Do you think that that number, and they're like a lot of conflicting tones, if you know what I mean? Do you think that's going to affect the movie in any way? Well, the, 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 on, a, on a Marvel movie, you're never going to have one guy calling the shots. I mean, you're never going to have one guy saying this is, that's a better line than this one. When you have a movie like this, you're going to have a bunch of writing. You're going to have a bunch of writers. Um... But in every Marvel movie, I believe that writing, the, the writing's always great. I mean, I, all the Captain America's movies have been good. Rob, Rob Downey Jr. the Iron Man movies has been good. Um, I, I believe that, that they're going to they're gonna make a good script. And they did from yeah. when I, what I read. Good to hear. Now, actually, I have a question. Do they, te- like, do they send talent scouts to your off-Broadway shows and, like, find out about you then? Well, when I did off-Broadway shows, I was very young. I was about... Let's say fifth grade. Oh, wow! Yeah. Oh, wow. I, uh, once, uh, once I did um, L- uh, Lee Shiesberg and Little Man, I really just stopped doing off Broadway, and then I got some big feature films, which I was very excited about. Oh, very. Where do you see yourself going from here? Uh, I don't know what I see. I mean, right now I'm waiting on auditions. You know, uh, my role uh, in Dark Tower, will, if there is a second one, will expand. And become a bigger role, which would be a big experience. Um, so, I don't know. Hopefully, I'm waiting for this, so hopefully I get some more roles. And right now, you know, I just want to get, get involved in school, you know, get my feet wet. So, oh, we wish you nothing but the best of luck. Thank man. you. Yes. Do you want to do, did your mom tell you we were going to do the our top three favorite sci-fi movies? No. Okay. Do you want to participate in that? Sure. <laughs> All right. So, just in case we had some extra time and we got about eight minutes left, we were going to go around and talk about our top three favorite sci-fi movies. So, what do you, do you, you want to think about it for a second? Yeah, let me think can... about it. Let me think about it. All right. Thank so, who wants to go first? I have mine written down. All right. What you got? Job, I had, um... <laughs> Let's go number threes all around. All right. Number three, I had The Dark Knight. The Dark Knight is your number the three. The Dark Knight okay. is, it's a great movie. I have the Dark Knight as well, number three. Ooh, um, I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with uh, the first Iron Man. Okay. For number, all right. Uh, number. Th- <sighs> as usual. Predator. As usual, Demo. Uh, Predator. Come come back to me. Oh jeez. Oh, oh, always. Always. That's Dark. his mo. His mo is he's not prepared. <laughs> Dark Knight. Dark Knight. Wow. 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 A lot of Iron numbers. Man three. Iron Man three. Mine's Minority Report. That's a good. That's a good uh, choice. Iron Man three. With Tom Cruise. Number three, I'm going to give it to Jurassic Park. Ah. Hmm. I was going to ah. considering that. The but second best movie in the franchise. I'll kick off the, number two. The original, the best. The My number two is Jurassic Park, so yeah. I'll just Ooh. piggyback off you. Wow. Right. The original one. My number two is The Dark Knight. Ah. Oh, there you go. The Dark Knight, really. Dark Knight's great. It's, it's a good movie. So good. I know you don't like Maggie Gyllenhaal, but I like Maggie Gyllenhaal. <laughs> Harvey. Oh, I love that movie. <laughs> oh, that movie. That, that movie is so bad. That's probably it's my number yes. four movie. I don't like her. Dark that. Knight's probably my number four movie. Ooh. I will yeah. also say Dark Knight for my number two. Okay. Yeah. Because well, you don't know. Lord, no. of the, Lord of the Rings, Two Towers. Two Towers, a good oh, one. That's fantasy. I, All right. I want to say that's, well, that's sci-fi. That's very sci-fi. Return yeah. of the King is probably my number five or six. 
I'm going to say, for me, it's a tie between Jurassic Park and Return of the Jedi. There it is. Return of the Jedi, yeah? I it's know. the best one. No, no, no. no, that's not true. no. I think it's the best well, one. Well, it's, it's not the best. Empire, Empire is not the best one. Wait. Empire Strikes Back is the best one. Yeah. Yeah. Damn Absolutely. right. That's my, no- <laughs> Damn right. that's my number two, by the way. That's your number Emp- two? Empire Strikes Back. Did you give us your number two? Yes, Dark Knight. Dark Knight, right. Excellent. So, uh, my number two is Jurassic Park. Jurassic Park. Nice. Hmm. Number ones? Back to the Future, no question. That's, my, that's, wow. my, that's not only my favorite science fiction, but my favorite movie ever. Mine's Back to the Future too. The second one. I like the second one. Mm. Uh, take a guess what mine is. It's Star Wars. Empire Star Strikes Wars Back. Episode no, One. It is Empire Star Wars. Wars. Well, just Star Wars, but Episode Four. Uh, that's a good. A that's New a Hope. Good choice. Yes. A New Hope. Okay. I, I like that choice. I'm gonna give my number one to, to Predator. No, <laughs> <laughs> I really love Predator. Predator's probably like top ten. Top ten movies that I'll always watch if they're on. <laughs> like if it's on TV, it's it's getting put on. Uh, but number one, I'll give it to Empire Strikes Back. Mm-hmm. Wow. I just yeah, like as I like New Hope a lot. New Hope might be number two on my Star Wars rundown. Because I, uh, I really like Alec Guinness. As, oh, yeah, true. As Obi-Wan. Obi-Wan. Obi- Obi-Wan. <laughs> Old Ben? <laughs> Alec Guinness is amazing. Yeah. yeah. But just Empire Strikes Back was so well done. Captain America Civil War. Wow. Ah. Isn't that your favorite movie of all time? It's definitely in contention. It might be. Yeah. I really like it. I'm going to go with uh, Terminator 2, Judgment Day. Very good choice. Yeah. Sap, I like have you seen, oh. Sap, have you seen I don't like Terminator. Many. There's too many Schwarzenegger movies. There's too many sci-fi movies to pick a top three. Yeah. I have a feeling Spider-Man Homecoming is going to be in my top three. Oh, Ooh. definitely. Well, I have a feeling. It's got because Spider-Man 2. I, I like, well, yeah. I, mean, I love Spider-Man 2. I love Spider-Man so much, and the way Tom Holland does his Spider-Man, and the way Marvel's doing this Spider-Man. If you, I, I rewatched. Uh, I just got Civil War on Blu-ray uh, last week. And I rewatched the airport scene probably four or five times. It's awesome. My son wanted it's to see awesome. Captain America and Spider Man. Really and or I was like, Christian, come here, watch this with me so I don't feel like I'm, you know, wasting my life. <laughs> but I was sitting there watching it and there's one point where they all go fighting and Spider Man's like, Mr. Stark, he puts his hand on his ear and he says, Mr. Stark, what do you want me to do? Right? And he asks for orders. And something that's this is so little and crazy, but the way his hand bended Bent, bent, bent on his head. You can do it. It was a Spider-Man <laughs> finger. It wasn't just someone's finger. It was a Spider-Man bend. If you read the Who's comics, this? if you read the comic books and you see the way his appendages move and his hands form when he's on things, his hands don't bend like every other person's hands bend. That's I don't some know. Catch. I don't know. I don't know if, awesome. if anybody knows what the hell I'm talking about. I might seem crazy. No, I, I, I know exactly what you're talking about. about. But yeah. go through a Spider-Man comic and his fingers are weird. Because he's a yeah. Spider-Man, and he can, you know. Yeah, like even yeah. like that scene where like uh, he webs up Falcon and uh, Winter Soldier, and he's like mm-hmm. hanging on like that yeah. wall. Right. That appendage is. So John Trigger, watch you watch this particular scene, and just when he does it, just watch the way his his index finger bends on his ear. It's just they, it's little things like that that Marvel gets right that's making it so good. My number one's in Pie Strikes Back. Nice. Oh, nice. Not a bad choice at all. No, how can you? You can't. It's blame anybody for taking it. Probably top five. five. Yeah, in my opinion. I think they were all very good choices. Um, we want to play Stump the Barbieri for Predator, the last segment. I say we, I, if you, if you I say want we go to. stump the sap. No, please. Nah, he's, he can't. He didn't do it. He didn't he, prepare. He's it's not beat. Funk. He's beat. <laughs> he's beat. It's not it's fun. The only thing. So what is Stump the Barbieri exactly? Well, we're going to ask you questions about Predator. Oh, fair enough. You've seen Predator, right? I say, right. we, I say we let Demo take this. this is, that's his thing. My, <laughs> don't make him crazy questions. I've make him like, no. Oh, so it might be a little rusty. All right. All right. Who's Dutch? Who plays Dutch? Yeah, yeah Schwarzenegger. Yeah. There you go. Wow, ding, ding, ding. He you wins. <laughs> yeah, did you know who played Dutch? No. <laughs> <laughs> who's Dutch? <laughs> Dutch? I don't know. The face of, like, insecurity. Mine. <laughs> um, do you not know who I am? Me, I'm <laughs> Dutch. <laughs> I mean, Predator, the movie. We tell you about it all the time. The governor. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Uh, yeah. Is it? No. Corey. So Corey always, in the uh, house. Corey just made it. <laughs> Mike, this is Corey. Hey, Corey, dude. this is Mike. He makes our YouTube uh, videos for us. Um, phenomenal. Good job. So we're not, we're gonna, we're not gonna ask anymore. Uh, I mean, who gets spooked? Who gets Yeah, who that, does who get spooked? I know that. Spooked. There's... <laughs> All right, granted, this is not a very fair question because I picked a single line in the movie okay. where Arnold's like, what's got blank so spooked? 
<laughs> and like the name of the person is, the, is the question. I know. Yeah, because yeah, we say it to every week. I've yeah. asked it to you eight times. Yeah, it took you like four and weeks to. So, all right, all right, so the question is. What's got blank so spooked? And my, I have to fill in the blank. So, yeah, I fill yeah. in the blank. It's a name. It's like it's one of the names of like the people in the, in the movie. Yes. Yeah. Like, it's kind of like the Native American kind of guy. Yeah. Mm. If he gets this sap, you're done. If he if he gets beat. <laughs> yeah, if he doesn't get it, it's a stalemate. Yeah. And you can say you've. Uh, no no no! It's no, not no, a stalemate. No, no, no. He's he in wins. he's She's, in Spider Man he Homecoming. He wins. He wins. <laughs> True. Well, at life he wins. Yeah, but exactly. Stump the sap. It's a stalemate. Are you joking? Stump sap has gotten like. 38 wrong. And like yeah, there, right. there was a counter at some point. Oh, yeah? Hey. Hey, uh, what? You Billy? cheated. Oh, hey. Hey. All right. Oh, got him. <laughs> All I just want to say, thanks, Mike, again, for coming in. Thank you guys for it's been me. a pleasure. We really yeah, enjoyed awesome. having you in here. Thanks. Um, you can follow us on YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, at XSquadPod. Um, Corey's going to be putting up a YouTube video as soon as he can. Check it out. Go see these movies. Go see Little Men. You want to say those theaters again? Oh, uh, yeah. Lincoln Center and IFC Theater on West 4th Street. Lincoln Center and IFC on West 4th Street. Sounds awesome. Go see Dark Tower. Go see Spider-Man Homecoming. Thank you so much again, Mike. Thank Appreciate you. it. Thank you. Have a good evening. Good evening. <laughs>